It's British, 18 karat gold post-war. It's a hand-stamped Harrison Townsend. Pity is they've gone belly up. But I think I have something comparable. Ah. Three hundred dollars? It's more than my suit. The Harrison Townsend would run a bit more. <laughs> well, what kind of tailors would buy these? I mean, at these prices, it can't be a very long list. In the States, very few. They're very elegant. Haven't used them in years. You know, in the 80s, people had a different attitude toward money. I wouldn't know. I didn't have any. We're going to need a list of your customers who've got blue blazers made with these buttons. I'm afraid that's confidential. What are you, a doctor of haberdashery? I have a select number of very distinguished clients. Sir, obstructing justice will get you a select number around your neck. It's a very simple drill, Harry. You just look in your books and you give us the names. In 1987, I ordered 200 buttons for the St. Paul's Youth Choir. Uh, 1985, 80 more blazers for the Ale and Quail Club. The Cunningham Realtors for their top 25 brokers. Every Christmas from 82 on. Realtors, good candidates for a shallow grave. <laughs> We're moving to Jersey City. Even cut back our bonuses this year. No more company blazers? No, we haven't done that since money markets were at 16%. Well, we would like to get a list of every broker who got one. Well, our records are in storage in Weehawken. Now, tell me what you need. I'll fill out a request slip, and you'll have it by the end of next week. I'm afraid we're going to have to have it by the end of this visit. <sighs> know where to start. Well, it'd be a shame to have to go get a warrant, come back and unpack all this neat work. Brokers of the Year, 1984, 83, 82. Thank you very much, sir. Last one on my list. Everyone at Cunningham is present and accounted for. Yeah, and we can skip the youth choir and go right to the Ale and Quail Club. Or we can put this folder at the bottom of the pile. What about the women realtors? Didn't they rate blazers? It was Mr. Bones. Who maybe got the jacket from his wife. Yes, that's one of the buttons. I'm allergic to cashmere, but I gave the buttons to my father. How long had he been missing? Since 84. He was murdered. I'm sure you read about it. Sidney Cohen. There's a big trial. They put the son of a bitch away for life. Yeah, the Wall Street whiz kid. Uh, killed your father over some real estate thing. What was his name? Philip Swan. They convicted him without the body. That's how guilty he was. Was he where they said? In Patterson? No, he was buried next to some building on Roosevelt Island. That can't be him. They had a witness at the trial who testified that he helped bury my dad in New Jersey. Your father have a pin in his knee? Yeah. He wrecked it in a car accident. Trabecular match. And see the angle of the femur on the corpse? I'll take your word for it. It's the same as a picture taken at the time of Mr. Cohen's surgery. Yeah, well, there's got to be a lot of people walking around with pins in their knees, right? Yeah, but there's also the exact position of the pin in relation to the joint. It's not as exact as a fingerprint, but it's as close as you're going to get to 100%. Hey, it looks like we definitely have Sidney Cohen, right? Yeah, all right. Well, if he's our guy, Van Buren wants us to bring everything we have to Stone. He prosecuted this case eight years ago and put Philip Swan away. Swan's a pretty dapper-looking fella. I bet he gets his prison denims tailored. Half the people in town were trying to get rich on his junk bonds. They're lucky they only lost their money. Mr. Cohen lost his life. What was the motive for the murder? Swan convinced a bunch of his prep school buddies to invest in a pyramid scheme. And while Swan was conning his victims, Mr. Cohen was conning Mr. Swan to the tune of about $1 million. Yeah, he swim with sharks, bring Band-Aids. Uh, how certain is this identification? The ME gives it 95%. Well, then, we got a problem. 
Swan was convicted on the testimony of an accomplice who said that he helped Swan bury Mr. Cohen in New Jersey. You have Swan's murder weapon? Have ballistics match it up against the slug we found in Cohen's skull? The accomplice also said that Swan killed Cohen by slitting his throat. You go back, re-examine any case. There's gonna be lies and inconsistencies and contradictions. Justice isn't perfect, but the bottom line is Swan was guilty. How can you be so absolutely sure? If Bobbitt was your principal witness against Swan, but I didn't make my case on the accomplice testimony alone. There was other evidence. Swan bragged about that murder to half the people he knew. You made the case without the body. Let us remember that the jury convicted on the basis of Russell Bobbitt's testimony. And he may have perjured himself. I could have made my case without Bobbitt. Yes, but you didn't. Is there even a possibility Swan's innocent? I know Philip Swan. He smiled through the entire q and He was guilty then, he's guilty now. Have Russell Bobbitt picked up. At the very least, you may have a perjury charge. Haven't seen him, huh? We know he works here, pal. Are you trying to tell me he just happens to be out sick today? Hey, Georgie! You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you. So who's this Billy Doyle? You don't know him? Uh-uh. But you'll get acquainted in court. He's the guy who's gonna put you in for a life sentence. He's gonna point his finger at you. And he's gonna tell us how you took a commission to kill Russell Bobbitt. He's crazy. You're the one staring at murder, too. It's Philip Swan that I'm after. I know he authored a writ to keep you out of solitary, but I'm ready to throw you back in. What deal would you offer Mr. Mislansky? It depends on what he says. I did the work for Swan. I want the body, Mr. Maslansky. Couldn't just leave him by the side of the road. Swan said he wanted it done a certain way. He was particular about it. You mean like he was going to check up on me? Something's worth doing, it's worth doing right. We're looking for Philip Swan. Sure. Phil, some guys to see you? He's hooking up the CD. Cops? Phillips Swan, you're under arrest for the murder of Russell Bobbitt. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you do say can and will be used against you. <laughs> 